Well, not only did they sell that 5,000 in about an hour, that ends up being the best-selling sports book ever. Penny kept notes from the 20, late 20s, early 30s, all the way to the present. He was pro at Austin Country Club 70 years. 70. Had all kinds of experiences. All kinds of famous people, infamous people, poor people, little guys, the, you name it, women galore. Mickey Wright's still the best player I've ever seen. That, 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 and, and so we knew he had these notes. And so I, I wanted to find a writer that would edit them because he kept, it was a big chief tablet. That's what it was. There were several of them, but it was private. And so, we we didn't think he'd publish it, but we thought somebody ought to, after his death, maybe he'd leave it to Ben. He and Ben had had this kindred love for each other that was extraordinary, and and had very little to do with golf. And this this uh, so we weren't worried about commercial. Just just keep it for posterity. We'd all like to know what's in it, uh, whether it's a lesson with Howard Hughes or whether it was the poorest guy in town, some farmer or whatever. It didn't matter. <clears throat> well, Bud Shrake was a real good writer, a sports writer, and wrote Tom Horner, wrote just a good writer, but he had some kind of block he couldn't write, probably, uh, probably overserved. But nevertheless... He was a member at Austin. He was visiting with Harvey one day, who was an invalid by then. And he mentioned those notes, and, and he said, well, let me see those things. So he, he looked at them. Harvey showed them to him, which we were all shocked later to learn. He calls Simon and & Schuster and said, I want to write a book. I mean, I want it's more, more me it than it is writing, but, but it's already written. Harvey panics. Whatever, and they said we've never heard of him. I said, okay. I said, I'll tell you what, we owe you a book, so we'll we'll print five thousand of those things, and we'll give you ninety five thousand bucks. So, Trey can't believe it. He hauls up, up, back up to Harvey and he says, and Harvey had to write notes. He could hardly. He was so weak, he couldn't talk much. And, so Bud tells him this story about Simon and Schuster, and he said they'll do it for ninety five thousand bucks. And Harvey writes a note. Bud, Bud kept it before he died. And he hands it to him. He says, "Much I'd like to do that book. I don't have forty five thousand dollars. <laughs> that I don't have. I can't pay my half." And he said, "No, no, Harvey. They pay you. Yeah, you get the money. <laughs> In that case, we'll do it." Yeah, and, and, <laughs> and so they printed. Well, we're going to get them when they've come in, thinking, well, the, all the people that knew him over the years are going to will buy them. So that's going to be so might eat up to five thousand. Might. Well, not only did they sell that five thousand in about an hour, that ends up being the best selling sports book ever. They sold eight hundred thousand copies of that thing. And part of the reason was when you read it, it's not much about golf. I mean, it, it is, and it says golf on almost every page. You can apply that, the, his thought process or his advice or his ideas to anything you want to do. I don't care if you're teaching history. I don't care if you're, you want to be a shine boy. I don't care what you want to do, engineer, you, doctor, whatever. It, it's applicable if you'll – I'm not interested in how you if – I want, if I want to know about somebody, I'll ask how he treats subordinates, not superior. Yeah. Now, tell me all I need to know about it. I don't – that was – and it wasn't that he – and Ben and I have talked – Crenshaw and I have talked about it a lot. Where did he get – he didn't go to college. He didn't he, – he was pro at Austin when he was 18 years old. But, 